The Philippine Merchant Marine Academy is the country's premier maritime institution. Established in the year 1820 by Spanish royal decree as the Escuela Nautica de Manila, it has undergone numerous transformations, not only in its name, but also in its training style, which, for the past 200 years, has consistently produced world-class officers, not only for the merchant marine, but also for the armed forces. Last year, I have shown you what it was like when aspiring cadets entered the academy on their first day of training. It was the reception day of the class of 2022. The video was well received, but it only showed the activities that they did during their first day of training. In this two-part episode, we will take a deeper look into the various activities that are carried out during the one month orientation and indoctrination period for the probationary midshipmen of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. Life as a cadet is a process of transformation and progression. The probies that were featured in last year's video underwent a rigorous year of academics and training as fourth class midshipmen. Fast forward to today, after completing all the requirements and after enduring all the challenges of being the lowest ranking cadets of the Corps, they were officially recognized as third class midshipmen. A year ago, they were carefree individuals standing outside the academy's gates, waiting to get in. Now, it's their turn to welcome their juniors into the life of a PMMA midshipman. It's the 30th of June, 2019. The aspiring cadets are making final preparations for their reception on the following day. A total of 8,974 applicants took the yearly entrance examinations which are usually held every last Saturday of September. Out of that number, only 4,490 managed to pass and qualified to undergo the medical and neuropsychological evaluation. After going through this stringent process, only 576 probationary midshipmen who will become part of the class of 2023 were qualified to report for the one month orientation period. Ini expect ko po na hindi madali yung uh, harapin namin bukas dahil eh, doon yung uh, pinaka hard training sabi ng mga ibang nakaranas na. I sir, prepare ko po yung sarili ko sa mental, physical saka sa spiritual sir. The PMMA accepts male and female applicants. So ano yung expect mo bukas? Um, na mahirapan na mahirapan po ako at saka kakayan kakayan ko po kahit mahirapan po para po sa pangarap okay so ano yung mga preparations ginawa mo um nagjogging nagjogging po ako um, nag push up um nag basketball po para stand siya po yun po okay how many female cadets came aboard uh, for the orientation a total of 63 probationary midship women came aboard for the orientation period. The female cadets, or cadets, will go through the same program and will be required to do the same activities like the rest of their male batchmates. The cadets receive the same training as their male counterpart. There is no special treatment. Hindi na sir, sayang naman. Pagod. Hindi po sir, never po sir. Sure, got Hi sir. Hindi sir, never sir. 
wala sa vocabulary yung, yung salitang resign, sir. Hindi ka mag-resign? Hindi po. Hindi sure po. ka? Hindi po. Okay, very good. At 0600 hours, the probies were assembled in the gymnasium for registration and the final physical checkup by the medical team. Nag-prepare ka ba para dito sa probationary? Yes, sir. Ano mga ginawa mong preparation? Ano po, sir? Uh, physical po at saka mental. Physical and mental. So hindi ka mag-resign? Hindi po, sir. For the past few days, it has been raining non-stop and the parade ground is already flooded. Although the reception could be pushed through rain or shine, the flooded grounds might be hiding some hazards which might cause injury. The rain continued to pour, so to get the program going, the tactical officers decided that it was time to introduce the probies to the orientation staff. They are about to find out who's in charge, and they'll find that out the hard way. The methods and principles used in the academy is similar to any military training facility, where an individuals with all their quirks antics and relaxed way of life are taken apart, their undesirable traits discarded, and then rebuilding them to become disciplined officers. A lot of you have been wondering why the training in PMMA is military styled. It is a merchant marine institution after all. So why are they being treated as if they're signing up for the military? Under Republic Act 3680, mandates the PMMA to provide the Philippine Merchant Marine with sufficient and well-trained officers capable of meeting the needs of the ever-expanding foreign and coastwise trade and competent to serve as naval officers in times of war and national emergencies. Under the Republic Act 3680, the foundation on which the academy was built, the graduates are mandated by law to be commissioned as reserve officers of the Philippine Navy, and it's not optional. Having said so, under the said law, the military style of training is our means of effectively delivering an answer to that requirement. Since the Americans took over the Escuela Nautica de Manila in 1899 and renamed it as the Philippine Nautical School and appointed U.S. Navy officers to run it, U.S. Naval Academy principles have been adapted into its curriculum. As a result, for over a hundred years, the Academy has been producing officers not only for the Merchant Marine, but also for the military. Even as early as the probationary period, many among them already signified intent to join the Navy and Coast Guard as regulars. When the new cadets are received, they are immediately tested physically and mentally using a series of simple exercises while simulating a stressful environment. It is designed to immediately separate those who are not fully committed and those who can't perform well under stress because they are the ones who will most likely drop out anyway and not complete their training. So it's better to identify them as early as possible in order to avoid wasting time and resources. After the reception, the probies are brought to their respective quarters. They are given further instructions on how to stand, how to speak, and basically every other way to conduct themselves. And these instructions are delivered by the loud voices of the orientation staff. A 
at the end of the first day, a total of 108 probies have already resigned. They have different reasons for doing so, like body aches, muscle cramps. But as per experience, most of them just came unprepared. Bakit ka nag-resign? Uh, nag-resign po ako sir because yung likod ko po talaga is hindi po prepared. Naka-prepared po ako physically yung arms ko, nag-jogging po talaga ako, hips, yung likod lang po talaga yung yung pain po na parang hindi mo na makokontrol po, po. ganun po. Ano ba yung mga preparations mong ginawa before uh, starting the probation? Uh, mostly yung ginagawa ko po is talaga jogging po talaga non-stop for about 30 minutes and calisthenics po talaga. Kaya puyat po ako ngayon eh. Ganun po. May bala ka pa bang bumalik next year? Ay yes sir. More prepared than ever sir. Bakit ka nag-resign? Natumba sir dahil sa hilo sir. Tatlong beses na, ah, dalawang beses na natumba sir. At saka yung pagod din, sir. So, bago mag-start yung probationary period, uh, anong preparations yung ginawa? Eh, nung nakita ko yung results, sir, noong December, nag-umpisa na ako mag-jogging. Tapos, sir, one month na push-up at saka sit-up, sir. Siguro, sir, nani naninibago lang din yung katawan ko, sir, kasi maraming ipinagawa din, sir. Okay, so, medyo nabigla ka sa, sa dami ng mga so, may plano ka pa bang bumalik next year? Ay, wala na siguro, sir. Bakit okay. naman? Ang mag-aanap na lang siguro ako, sir, ng, ng ibang kurso. Ganun, sir. Dito sa pag-stay mo dito ng buong araw during your first day, ano ang na-realize mo or ano yung natutunan mo about yourself? Ay, ito, sir, ang talagang natutunan ko lang dito... E talaga bang pag pumasok ka sa isang akademiya, katulad ng PMMA, expect the worst na lang sir, talagang dapat maging preparado ka. Hindi kaya ilagay mo yung self mo sa limit mo sir. So some of you might be asking, why would anyone want to go through all of those military style training if they just wanted to enter the maritime profession? The simple answer, you don't. There are literally dozens of schools in the Philippines that offer maritime courses which don't require students to undergo military training. So if you want the easy life while studying, then go to those schools. PMMA is not the school for you. But if you're the type of person who wants added value, and if you're interested in having more employment options after graduation, and if you're willing to work hard for it on your own, without relying on some high-ranking relative or family member of yours to make things easy for you in getting a job, well, PMMA can open up a world of opportunities for you. And here's why. PMMA is a government-operated school, meaning cadets enjoy a highly subsidized scholarship offered by the government. They have free tuition fees and free board and lodging. The other expenses like uniforms and other consumables like school supplies are shouldered by the cadets themselves. Plus, PMMA's curriculum is 2-1-1, meaning the cadets study in campus for two years, then go on a one-year shipboard training as deck or engine cadets on board international ships, and then return to campus for their final year of study until they graduate. PMMA has entered into partnership with many shipping companies for the shipboard training phase of its cadets. This means that upon graduation, they already have one year of sea experience, making them immediately qualified to take the licensure exams. And since the shipping companies already sponsored them during their shipboard year, that means guaranteed employment and inclusion in the company's officer program. 
More often than not, PMMA graduates have a reputation of reaching the ranks of captain and chief engineer within 10 to 15 years after graduation, and in some instances, even earlier. In addition, because of the military training, they are also qualified to sign up for active duty as regular officers in the Philippine Navy or Philippine Coast Guard, if they choose to. Over many decades, the Academy has produced officers who have served with distinction in the country's armed forces. And that is why, each and every year, thousands of aspirants take the PMMA entrance exams. It offers a great deal and a promising career to its graduates. The only thing is, you have to be resilient in order to earn the distinction of belonging to the long blue line. On part two of this series, we will see the other activities that the probies undergo during their one month orientation period. And the culmination of all of that will be their oath taking day, wherein they will be officially be part of the Corps as fourth class midshipmen.